batteries. Good? I, yes, I can. Uh, I got a little bit. Turn it up for a live shot. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. I think we are to be another bird. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Weather Channel, Mike Bettis here. Weather Channel, Mike Bettis here. Weather Channel, Mike Bettis. Weather Channel, it's Mike Bettis. Weather Channel, it's Mike Bettis. Do you hear me? Across the street, Brad. Amanda, do you hear us? Amanda, Bettis, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you see me? All right, do you see us? Crush town. Joplin is destroyed. Come to us as soon as you can. We're all over the damage. Here we go, Brad. Right, come up here and on the side of this, Brad. Walk around. Careful. Stand by, Brad. We're just going to walk and talk the whole time. I see some behind you. Tell me, what do you see? We, we just rolled up on the scene. It's an unfolding situation. As we, this is uh, right off of 20th Street. And this is what we're looking at. Homes that have been damaged. We've got trees. In the streets, and the power lines are... And I want... This is a stunning image behind me here. Trees have been leveled. Behind me, the big black is the St. John Regional Medical Center. It has sustained significant damage. It's smoking back there. The fire department has been racing to the scene here. They're still pulling people from buildings here in Joplin. We have ambulance coming down the street. Obviously, the uh, it is an unfolding situation as we speak. A significant right behind a tornado, likely a rain-wrapped tornado because we couldn't see anything at the time. Visibility was down to maybe 100 yards, and that was it. But look at the extensive damage that we have here. It's everywhere you look. And if you take the neighborhoods back off to the east there, you can see just how significant the tornado could be. Watch your step there. we got power lines right below you there. Watch out. A significant tornadoes come through here, Paul, this evening. I haven't seen anything like this in quite some time, not since we saw the, uh, the outbreak, at least back in, in Alabama a couple, couple of weeks ago. But you can just see the expanse of the damage here. And actually, oh my goodness, I'm going to look over there. But oh my Oh no, I hope everyone is okay. That is destroyed. Oh my goodness. That is a stunning image right there. We're just rolling up onto the scene now here in Joplin, Missouri. A tornado has just come through in the past half hour. That is 
a really sobering image right there when you see those neighborhoods that are basically flattened uh, off in the distance there. This, I haven't seen anything like this, Paul A. Kelly, and I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. It is really, really tragic what's happened to Joplin here this evening. Mike, a terrible situation there, but we want to remind everybody that that same tornado that hit uh, that area of Joplin is still on the ground. Eastern Audrain, Callaway, Montgomery, Pike, and Rawls counties in Missouri are still under a tornado warning at this time. And we also have reports of cars being just flipped off of Interstate 44 there that goes through Joplin, Missouri. Again, this is still a developing and ongoing and dangerous situation here across southwest Missouri. And again, we're talking about a tornado still on the ground here. Tornado warning now for Audrain, Callaway, Montgomery, Pike, Rawls County. Again, you saw some of the damage that Mike Bettis and the great Tornado Hunt team just showed us. This is you need to get underground. There is no safe place for uh, this type of tornado unless you're underground. If you do not have a basement, you need to go to a building that does. You need to take this situation seriously. Mike, let's go back to you. Who are you talking with out there? Uh, we, we, you, you, were at, you were at the hospital when it was struck. What's your name? Joe Shockley. And uh, the backup generators got hit, no power. They were just literally nothing but darkness. And when the wind just started blowing the doors open and stuff started just flying and cracking, and we all got down on the floor and <laughs> just prayed that we made it through it. But Do you know if everyone's okay? Uh, I don't know about the whole hospital, but uh, fifth floor, everybody got out of there. So I don't know if there's gas leaks, and real bad odor of gas, and, you know, they use oxygen and all kinds of stuff in that hospital and it's stinking up bad. How did, how did you get out? I just bumbled my way down the exit with the rest of the crew and they were going to stay there and wait and I said man I'm out here because there's too much electric and water and stuff like that so I made my way through back to the main entrance which is totally destroyed. There isn't nothing left of that entrance and around the hall or much of the hospital. I'm glad you're okay. Is there anything we can do for you? Can we call anybody for you? Yeah, can I we get you? It. I'd like to call do you have a family son. member we can yeah. call for you? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, we'll get some information for you. Obviously, devastating situation in Joplin. We'll be right back. Let's see if I can get a phone number. My phone has not been working. The phone seems to be knocked out. Okay, Joe, you said? Yes. Thank you, sir. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Let's go across the street there if we can. Watch your step. I've got it. Oh my goodness. Look, oh, look at that guy. He's dragging a cable, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come to me as many times as you want. Watch your step, Brad. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my God. I know it's where we're going. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? I know, I saw it. Oh my goodness. We're going over here. JK, you still got us? Mike and picture, all right? Somebody bring, somebody bring me a battery. We need a battery too. We need a battery, we need a camera battery. Oh my goodness. No, it's past us. Still have our signal okay, JK? Are we? All right. Hopefully we have good range here. To get to this neighborhood, I don't know if you can roll up any or not, but oh my goodness, this is devastating. We're going into this neighborhood. It is leveled. You still got us, JK? All right, come on. All right. We're still walking. Come on up if you can a little.
trying to roll a little bit closer, but I can't go any farther than this. My IC is done right here. You want to go in there, Jenkins, and get anything? I have to stop here. I can't go any farther than right here. He's rolling up, though. No, no. Come on, man. Look. Look. JK, where are you at? I lost the IFB. I don't know. I think range. I lost. I know we probably have it. We might be out of range. I'm trying to come. I'm not sure where we are. Where are you guys? I'm not sure where you are. Don't shoot that guy. I see you, Bloom. I see you, Bloom. All right, here we go. I don't know what street it is. Six Street.
dead person. Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Paul, can you hear me? Paul, this is Mike. Can you hear me? This is just, Paul, I've never seen a scene like this before. We just rolled up and this tornado came through maybe 45 minutes ago. I've personally witnessed injuries and fatalities here, unfortunately, in Joplin. We're just going through the neighborhood here trying to figure out if anyone else needs help. There's, people are just scrambling right now. I want you to kind of take a, a scope of the, of the damage, just to kind of taking my breath away here. Multiple homes, businesses destroyed, cars that have been flipped, a mangled debris everywhere you look. People are trying to just help people out any way they can. People being pulled out of buildings uh, here this evening as well. We've come across many people. They need help. They need to get as much help in this area as possible. I think they're going to be overwhelmed with the amount of damage, the amount of injuries and fatalities they have here. They need help in Joplin as soon as they can possibly get it, Paul. I'm just not even sure where to begin. We're just kind of walking through the neighborhood, seeing if we can help anybody right now. It really is an extremely sobering situation here this evening. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure what used to be right there, but that used to be something. It's been wiped clean and, oh my goodness. Uh, let's go down here. There might be some people over there. Paul, which we have to kind of maneuver through power lines. What's going on over there? That's the hospital. I, we should see if there are some people in these buildings. that building is right there. This, this might be a business. From, yeah, from office. Okay, this is it. Take look at the type of roofing. This is all commercial yeah. type roofing. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We're over here by the hospital now. Okay, you need anything? We got out. He's trapped in there. Once. What building is this? Chuck or Shag or something. Is this a business? Yeah. Is anybody else in there? Do you no. know? You sure? My car's across the street. Okay, okay. How about any of these buildings? Do you know? I don't know about them. Okay. Don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, we're okay. He wasn't there. I was trapped. Thank you. You all right? I got in the basement, put my hands over my head, and the building caved in on me. But my office was gone where I worked for 20 years. Can I get you anything? You need a blanket? Can I get you, do you need anything to drink or anything? We're going to get something to drink. Give me water. Yeah, we have some in our truck. We can if get you some. Away, no, okay. no, it's our truck is right there. We'll get you something to drink. All right. Okay. Maybe you should come on up. Okay. We have a uh, first on. aid kit up there and we have something to drink too. Okay. God bless you. Okay? Thank you. Okay. I just wish I could get in touch with my daughter. Let me see if I can, my cell phone, I haven't been able to get out with my cell phone. Get out with cell phone. Okay. Yeah, town quite a way. It came right through town, right Did through it? the center. It went. Which way is which way is west? Is that west? Yeah. Yeah, it came all the way through town. Go went all the west? way. Uh, just do west? right to right east, west to east. Okay, so right through town. JK, you still got us, all right?
back down over here. I don't hear ISB anymore. JK, where I cannot, I don't have IFB anymore. I've lost it. Uh, I need a batteries. I need a nine volt. Okay, coming up. Maybe you should go back to the truck. Regroup. My battery in my IFB has died. I have. We're right behind you guys now in the truck. I kind of hear the IFB going in and out, but I think my battery's dying. Andy, you got it? Yeah, my IP. Yeah, I can hear you. I need, hold on, give me, give me one minute. I gotta change out my battery, my IFP, it's dying. Well, well. I mean, it is a, it's a devastating scene here in Joplin, Missouri. The tornado came through here less than an hour ago, and I mean, the scene is fairly remarkable. And this is, this is a convenience store. Look at the vehicles here. That's the gas station and the canopy there. And then really the, the stunning image is the hospital back here. That's St. Joe, St. John's Regional Medical Center. It has taken a significant hit. You can see the people that are down there by the ambulance. Uh, getting medical assistance. I have personally seen people injured. Unfortunately, I've seen people that are dead lying in the streets. It is a devastating scene. I'm, oh, it's just the the images go on forever. It seems like if you look back there through that neighborhood, it is endless damage here in Joplin. up this way a little bit. 